welcome to my channel this is reading truth to roll by clara i am clara and today we are reading truth today we're gonna read for the sign of aries and i welcome all my subscribers past present and future <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and hit the subscribe button it's free there's no charge for it You like the reading and uh you can comment in the comment section if it resonated do also remember this is a general reading excuse me i can't get my cards together do remember this is a general reading someone may be getting a message of passion and if someone is like ready to get into victory here some victory wants to come in but something is challenging it at this time however i see the page of wands here so it's like um someone could be coming in with a message here someone may want a new lines of communication here a new opportunity here could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius no, I believe that's, yeah, everything is Sagittarius. I believe it's Sagittarius, though. Two of Wands here. You have the Two of Cups. You have the Hierophant. Aries, what is going on? Wow, here goes that Page of Wands again. Someone is wanting to come in with a new, someone wants a new opportunity with someone here. Someone is passionate about someone here. Someone needs to make a decision between two people, two places. Someone is in love with someone here and sees someone as their divine their divine counterpart, if I could speak correctly. We also have the Hierophant representing um, Taurus here. Why do I have this card flip like this? Hold on. Sorry about that, guys. Even though I did see the Queen of Pentacles, so someone could be um, interested in an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone who seems to be stable. Someone is actually thinking about some kind of commitment with, here. Someone could be feeling left out of the cold. Or they could be feeling like they may not have enough in a situation like they may like someone romantically or someone here could also be ghosting as well. There could be ghosting here as well. It's like someone feeling left out in the cold, wanting more in a, out of a situation here. Someone is going to come in with a page of cups energy. Could be someone younger. Ooh, new love. Hold on, guys. I'm not taking everything. I'll leave this one here. Yeah, there could have been some breadcrumbing, some in and out here. But it's like someone is wanting to bring a balance because love is now coming in here. Like they're starting to get into their emotions here. Someone, wow, hopes and fears. Someone is like, someone wants to speak their truth here. And there could be interference here. So it's like someone is worried there's interference. Someone could be worried that someone turned their back on them here. And someone is like steadily working constantly on their pentacles. They're like busy working on themselves. This person um, wants to come with some kind of emotion to this person here, but this person could be focused on their money here. In the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles wanting to work on a situation together. Someone wants to move away from a situation, move away from dark waters, any toxic people, you know, anything toxic around them. They want to get away from a dark place, ready to go somewhere lighter, energetically, emotionally, spiritually, physically. Let's dive. Yeah, someone definitely is wanting to or needing to make a decision here. They have a choice of between two people, two places here. I see someone is seeing someone here as their divine counterpart. Someone could literally... Um, see someone like as the one like as their soulmate here um and i feel like someone may not even realize it is what i want to say someone here is literally contemplating on commitment here this is uh the hierophant representing high level commitment 
marriage engagement, things like that of that nature, even like wanting to level up um, court, like in corporate America or, you know, in a job, in a corporation, but feeling challenged at this time. Someone is going to come in, however, um, as a page here, and they're going to want to communicate here. Is this you, Aries? <laughs> Maybe you're feeling a little shy about something here, but wanting to communicate, having some passion for someone here, feeling like you actually love this person and wanting to actually have some kind of commitment with this person. But it's like you literally have to make a decision, possibly because you may have to go away from like, let's say if you have children or something like that of that nature, you may be, you know, worried, oh, well, I, I, you know, my kids, you know, I won't be able to see them as much or something like that. But it's like you're ready to make a move and you're ready to go to your divine counterpart, or this person that you see in this light here. You're ready to make this, you know, in the recent past, you want to make this, you know, or you were contemplating on making this offer, but you're feeling like you're being left out in the cold here. Or you may feel like this other person has, um, you could have let so you could have had someone feel left out in the cold. Like you could have ghosted someone out of fear, I want to say here. Out of not being sure, confusion, and again, because you may have children or you know responsibilities where you where you're at currently so you could have left someone feeling ghosted and now it's like you're not sure how to reach out to this person here you may be feeling in lack here um in confusion as well but you know that there's like love here there's like total love here for you Again, it's like you want to bring a balance. Like there was breadcrumbing, it was in and out energy, and then you just ghosted someone. But now it's like you're ready to bring a balance here. You're wanting to communicate. You're wanting to come in fast. But you're worried that they could be interference here with the five of wands at the top here for the outcome. Or there may be interference here. You may now decide, um, oh, I want to come in, but may find out that someone is already in the picture here and may feel defeated somehow by that. Hold on, which I'm doing these, my light sears. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, it's like someone is coming into their emotions here, um, whether that's you, Aries, or you could be dealing with someone here in the Queen of Cups energy, very loving, very nurturing, caring. Could be Scorpio, Pisces energy, Cancer energy. In the challenge position, it's like someone here is giving to, you know, just giving to themselves, not really giving here, keeping boundaries here, and it's in the challenge position. Someone is only giving to themselves. They're really not giving to you or giving you, like, paying you any mind at all. But you do see this person, sorry, guys, you may see this person as loving um, and intuitive as well, very caring. You may see this person as actually as a good person. All right, so I'm going to start with this here and what we have. So we have the Nine of Cups. So it's like you have to make a decision. And it feels like both would make you happy. Like, you know, let's say if you have to move away from, you know, it's like you love your kids and everything, but just like you want to go to your wish fulfillment, which is, oh, my God. Oh my god, sorry about that. 
Lord, have mercy. I just caught it. Like, I'm so into the reading. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So let's get back to this reading. I guess it's not just uh, your wish fulfillment, but there's a lot of passion here. I mean, because we're burning hot over here. A whole fire starting. Okay. So let me get back to where we were here. Yeah, this person is like your son, your wish fulfillment, but you may feel heartbroken because you may want commitment with this person, but this person may already be in a com in a committed relationship. So it's like you may find out like, you know, it would be a third party situation, of course, because this person could already be in a higher level commitment here or even possibly getting married. And you may be hurt about that here. <sighs> And it's in the challenge. It's like, you know, yeah, this person is like, you want to come towards this person here. Hold on. Where am I here? Okay. It's like, you want to come towards this person here, but it's like, you feel like they have their boundaries up or they will have their boundaries up. Like they're not going to give you any attention. They're not going to give to you. It's like, she's looking away like, no. Like, not giving to the situation, um, standing her ground. However, it's like you're still ready to make, um, you're ready to make that offer, that Ten of Pentacles, you know, the coming together, merging families, ready to build something. This could be the, you know, I feel like this is, um, I feel like this is a male um, Aries here. And I feel like, um, It's like this person is like they didn't know how like I feel like uh, this person here that I'm I'm reading or I'm picking up on is like um this person ghosted this person but it's like um now they wanted to step up and like finally come you know this is Leo energy being confident you know seeing someone as the one um wish fulfillment the yes card but in the crossing you do have the hierophant and so this tells me that someone could be in somewhat of you know some kind of a committed relationship here and you may find out about that and this person might not be giving to your energy at this time as well because this person felt ghosted at some point yeah someone is ready to leave a dark place ready to leave toxic people you could have been dealing with someone very toxic around you as well, Aries. Yeah, this person could have gotten knowledge as to, you know, like if you were dealing with someone else or maybe they checked out your profile or something like that. This person could have realized, you know, like, okay, I'm just going to move on with my life because they felt left out in the cold. And so, like, they stepped into higher energy here and not, you know, giving to you anymore, giving to themselves. And it's like, you want to, you're even, like, still thinking about it and even thinking about how could you work this out with them because you want victory with this person. You want this person to be single. You want to bring a balance. You see this person... You know, you always see this person as single, but this person could actually be in some kind of committed relationship here. They may even be new love around them as well. And, you know, but you're wanting to come with this love offer, like this clear communication about how you feel to this person here. But this person is probably going to walk away from you because they're walking to, towards their future now. It's like they don't want to go through whatever they went through before. You could be spying on this person here. You may travel towards this person here. You may want to communicate with them. This person and you um, could have gone way back from like childhood or something like that. Wanting to grow roots, um, wanting to grow something here. Wanting to travel towards someone, communicate even possibly here. Wanting to make moves, wanting to learn about this person, trying to figure out if this person is single here. This person may be moving on with their life at this time, 
And this person is keeping quiet, not speaking with you here. This person is highly, also highly intuitive here. You may also be highly intuitive, have an intuition. You may be, you may have dealt with people who juggle you. You're worried this person may have options here. Are you still wanting to bring things to a balance? Or you may have options here. But you're still wanting to bring things to a balance. Or someone here is wanting to bring something here to a balance here. We got the Queen of Cups again. This person could be, again, highly intuitive, very loving, very sweet here. Someone here could be choosing you as well here with the Ten of Swords, though. It's like you've been through a lot, Aries. It's like I feel like you've been through so much here. But I feel like things are going to come into a balance. Someone could have even juggled you in the past, could have made you an option before. Thus, this is why you're like spying and not giving, you know. But now you want to give, but it may be too late. Um, however, your ships are coming in and it's basically telling me you still could make your moves at this time someone is walking away from something here whether it be you or someone else and i do again now i see the lover's card here representing gemini but also representing twin flame energy also representing um <clears throat> wanting to come together or having a reunion or wanting to come together with someone here having hope wanting to heal a connection here seeing someone as the star Someone could be seeing you as the star or you're seeing someone as a star here. You can have a lot of passion for someone and they may not even know it. You could be fantasizing about someone here constantly. Like someone here is either your wish fulfillment or vice versa. I also see here you stepping up to your energy here with the emperor and ready to make moves. Trying to strategize, trying to figure out something to come towards this person here. I'm going to leave that at that. I don't know why I did all that, but it just called to keep going. So I did. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I almost burned out the place, guys. But I'm going to leave that at, at that. Um, So these are just shorter videos. But this one was longer than the other ones because we had to put out a fire. Anyway, love you guys. God bless. Namaste. Love and light. And until next time.